Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Hey guys, welcome back to the Language Tutor Spanish Podcast. It's me, your host, Danny Evans, your profesor de español. Hope everybody's doing really well today. Well, finally, it came out, the episode on subjunctive. And I think probably now that you've seen the episode, you could probably start thinking about situations in which you would use the subjunctive. Uh, how many times do we use sentences every day that have these situations in them? You know, I want you to do this. She wants us to do that. Or anytime we change the subject like that, we're going to be looking at subjunctive. And so you really stop and think about how many times we use that in our own conversation. That's how much you'll use it in Spanish as well. It is really, really, really a common tense. It's a common structure that's used in Spanish. So I think once you get it down, you're really going to start seeing how often that you start using this in your conversational skills in Spanish. All right, well, with that being said, first thing I want to do on the podcast episode today is I want to just give you a little quick quiz on weirdo. Yeah, that phrase we use to remember the conditions under which we use the subjunctive. And so let's just kind of go over that. So what does that W stand for? Hopefully you're saying wishes and desires, wishes and desires. And what about that E in weirdo? All right, hopefully you said expressions or emotions. All right, what about that I? And that is impersonal expressions, impersonal expressions. Okay, up next is the R. And that is recommendations and requests. All right, next is the D. And that is doubt or denial. And finally, the O in weirdo. And that's ojalá, ojalá. That word that means so many different things. Okay, up next to practice, I want to play a little game with you. Subjunctive or not. Subjunctive or not. So I'm going to say a sentence in English. And all I want you to do is tell me, hey, if we put that into Spanish, yes, that would be subjunctive or no, that would not be subjunctive. So just simply say yes or no, okay? We're going to do 10 of these really quick. Subjunctive or not. Here we go. Number one, she lives in a house by the ocean. Yes or no? And that is a no. That would not be subjunctive. Number two, you have to clean your room today. That also is a no. That's just simply you have to do something. That'd be tener plus que plus infinitive, wouldn't it? Number three, I need you to clean your room today. And that is a big yes. We would use the subjunctive to say that in Spanish. We have a change of subject there. Up next, number four, they hope she's here tonight. And that is yes, we would use subjunctive to say that. Number five, we have a lot to do today. And that's a no. That would be just a normal conjugation there. Okay, number six, I hope she can pass the test. And that is a yes. We've changed the subject. I hope and then she can pass the test. So we would. Also, that's a hope. It's a wish or desire. So, yep, that would be subjunctive. Okay, number seven, they have four sisters. And that is no, that would not be subjunctive. Up next is number eight. We want them to do the job. And that is yes. We changed subjects there. And that is definitely a condition where we would use subjunctive number nine. I am going to be at work all day today. And that is a no. Number 10, last one, she recommends we make a reservation. And that is a yes. Recommendations and requests, they recommend that we do something. And that wraps up that practice. Okay, for our next and final 
practice of this episode, I'm just going to give you some sentences to put into Spanish, into the subjunctive, okay? So all these are subjunctive. We're just going to practice it, and uh, I'm going to give you some key words there and let you go for it, okay? Number one is going to be, I want you to speak Spanish, and that is my desire for you. I want you to speak Spanish. And for that one, you could have said, Quiero que tú hables español. Quiero que tú hables español. And you didn't have to say tú if you didn't. You might have just said, Quiero que hables. All right. Number two, she wants me to sing a song. And that would be, ella quiere que cante una canción. And yes, you could have put yo in there. Ella quiere que cante una canción. Number three, we doubt he will be at the meeting. We doubt he will be at the meeting. And that is, dudamos que él esté en la reunión. Dudamos que él esté en la reunión. All right, number four, we recommend you see that movie. We recommend you see that movie. And remember that recommend is recomendar. And that would be, te recomendamos que veas esa película. Te recomendamos que veas esa película. Okay, number five is, mom wants us to study tonight. Now, for mom, just say mama with an accent on that last A. So, mom wants us to study tonight. And that should be, Mama quiere que estudiemos esta noche. Mama quiere que estudiemos esta noche. All right, I hope you're doing good with these. Number six, the teacher wants us to read the book. The teacher wants us to read the book. And that should be la maestra, or you might have said profesora, or you might have even made the teacher a man. That would be fine too. But for example, say la maestra quiere que leamos el libro. La maestra quiere que leamos el libro. Number seven, I hope he comes today. And that should be, espero que él venga hoy. Espero que él venga hoy. And again, you could have left out él if you wanted to and just said, espero que venga hoy. Number eight, they are really happy we're here. They are really happy we're here. And that should be, están felices de que estemos aquí. Están felices de que estemos aquí. Number nine, it makes me sad that you're sick. It makes me sad that you're sick. And that should be me pone triste que estés enfermo. Me pone triste que estés enfermo. And just like I said on YouTube uh, channel there for this episode, me pone, it puts me sad when you say that. It's one way to say it. There is another one you can pick up later. 
All right, number 10, the last one. It's necessary that you buy a ticket before you arrive. It's necessary that you buy a ticket before you arrive. All right, and hopefully you said es necesario que compres un boleto antes de llegar. Es necesario que compres un boleto antes de llegar. Remember, just a quick grammar note that when we use antes de or después de, before or after doing something, we typically use that verb in the infinitive unchanged form. So that's why we have antes de llegar, and we did not conjugate that verb. So it's just a little quick grammar reminder for you. But guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you are doing well with subjunctive. And I appreciate you hanging out with me here on this episode. Look forward to the next one. The next three are going to be different types of subjunctive. Make sure you shoot me an email or send me a voice message. I'll be happy to feature yours on an episode to let everybody know how you're doing with your Spanish adventures and learning Spanish. You can just shoot that to me at dannyevans3371 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. I wish for you and your families paz y bendiciones, peace and blessings. I'll see you next time on the Language Tutor Spanish. Hasta pronto, amigos.